Hello everyone. Today I want to show you guys how to use Chromebooks built-in clipboard. This is a very useful feature that most people don't know about. The way the clipboard works, it lets you copy up to five items at a time so you can paste them into your document. This just saves a lot of time. For example, if you on one tab on one page, you can copy those five items separately and then once you go back into your document, you can paste them one at a time but you don't have to go back and forth and copy and paste so let's let me show you an example of how it works let's say i'm doing a homework on for example rome's history and then we're going to open it up and let's do let's do wikipedia and you can copy text links or images so let's copy this first paragraph then let's copy the image Let's go down. Let's do another paragraph. So that's three. Let's do let's do a map. So we got four and then and then let's do one more. You can only do up to five items. So now that we that we copy those five items. Um, let's say I want to paste them into a document. I'm doing a homework. Let's create one. And now how we access the clipboard is we're going to press search plus V. Search button is right above the shift key and it looks like magnifying glass. It's on your left side. So we're going to do search plus V. And now we have five items that we just copied. As I mentioned, you can only do five items. So if you do six, the first one you copied it's going to be deleted so let's do paragraph there we go now we got the first item and now let's do an image and let, then let's do another paragraph and you guys can see how much time I'm saving instead of going back and forth between let's say if I'm doing this I will have to do copy and then go into my document do paste and then so on and so on saving minutes of time just by doing this real fast and there we go and the last one very easy very simple keep in mind if you end up restarting the Chromebook or logging off and logging into another account the all the stuff you copied will be gone but if you end up for example just logging off and um, the stuff will remain so this is a very useful feature. I use it all the time for YouTube, for when I'm doing some research and so on and so on. And that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video.